because you guys are not seeing this in the morning, we are on the beach at a place called Cabo Roja in Puerto Rico. Cabo Rojo. Cabo <laughs> Rojo. Cabo Rojo. Perron. Disculpe. Lo siento. Um, with us are the Maitas, Gustavo, and my mind went blank. Ruth. Ruth. And their two little ones. And we are on the beach and so we are re we are gonna see if this works on Facebook Live. So we're gonna play hymn number 754, the first two verses, 752, Be Still My Soul, since we're right here by the ocean uh, and you can hear it, the waves breaking, maybe you can hear that. I'm not sure how that works. We'll, we'll sing the first two. Let's go. on the first two verses of 2 Peter now. So last week we did 1 Peter. The focus was on Peter saying, who are we uh, in Christ? And now in 2 Peter, he's reminding the, all the congregations of what it means that they are in Jesus Christ. Can you read verses 1 and 2? or if you need I have my glasses, so Gustavo can do it. Gustavo can do it. All right. <laughs> one, uh, second Peter, what? Just one and two. That first section. First chap. First chapter. Okay. Nice and loud. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained a faith of equal standing with our by the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. May grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Thank you, Pastor Maita. So, I wanted to focus on a couple of simple things here. Peter says, a servant, 
Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained a faith of equal standing with ours by the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. Peter says who he is. He is a servant and apostle. Apostle we get. That's somebody who's been sent. And so an apostolos is somebody who has authority. He's he's like an ambassador. He's like somebody who has been given a certain amount of authority to speak on behalf of somebody else. But the first term, we don't use them at, that much. A doulos in Greek. A servant or really easily also translated a slave. So today we say somebody is a doula and and I looked that up you know um, the idea of having a doula is usually an assistant some people wanted to substitute the term came in like the 1960s that a doula would be um, a childbirth assistant they tried to find other words for it but the word doula stuck and and it means a slave it means although the way people use it now it's uh, it's helping somebody through childbirth encouraging them and so on it means somebody who is subjecting themselves you remember from first Peter subjecting themselves uh, putting themselves lower humbling themselves to help somebody else Peter says this is what he is he's both an apostle which is the high you know authority thing and he is a servant at the same time a lot of people have a problem with that as the pastor the uh the hair pastor the the authority figure he is you know the person who tells you what's right and wrong and you need to repent that sort of thing but the pastor is a shepherd and at the same time he is to serve and humble himself peter says he is a servant, a slave, and an apostle at the same time. To those who have obtained a faith of equal standing. So you also are a slave, you are to serve other people. And at the same time, somebody who's been sent. Somebody who's been sent by Jesus to tell people the good news about Jesus Christ. And so he says, may grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ. Because you know your Heavenly Father and because you know Jesus Christ, you are able to serve, to, to lower yourself to serve others as the missionary team here in Puerto Rico is doing. And also to have authority because of the authority that comes from the Word of God that says, no, but this is the truth to tell people what God's Word is. We've been enjoying a vacation. I don't know if you'd call it a vacation when you're not working. <laughs> but a beautiful time here with God's people. And today we're at the ocean. I hope you can hear us with the waves breaking and all the people around and so on. Um, but in the midst of all the stuff that's happening in the world, here we are. We are slaves. We are servants to, to, to put ourselves, to subject ourselves to other people and at the same time to bring to them the wonderful authoritative word of God that tells them they have a new life for them. Peter is going to tell us more about that in his second letter as he reminds the people of all the things that God taught them about what it means to be then following Jesus Christ. I hope you will continue to join us for the rest of this letter. Heavenly Father, bless us as we, as we, wherever we are, in, in a Caribbean beach or in a cold Michigan winter, wherever we are, that we would be in your word and be servants and sent ones to serve you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen.